What's going on YouTube and Yacht Squad? This is your boy Yacht and we are back for the Pokemon Violet dog playthrough. So the next thing on the list is to fight Cass. So even though, I mean, it looks dark in the game. So I'm just going to assume that it's, that it's dark. And hopefully this is not a mistake. Do I need to go inside? I, I I don't. Or is it truly just not time? Okay, it may not be time. This is this is very very weird, very very weird. Cause it it looks like it's it's nighttime in like. I mean, y'all, y'all see what I see. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is I guess I'll just run around. Or wait, do I need to see the moon? Is, is that it? That I don't see the moon? Okay, well, I guess I'll wait and run around, and then when that person pops up, I'll be back. So, I was going through, oh, hold on, I need this, oh, oh, so I was going through the school because I kept standing out in front and I couldn't see it and I'm bouncing through the rooms, I forgot there was a schoolyard and here we are, so obviously it's confirmed. <laughs> Thanks for coming. This would have been cool if she didn't have the backpack. Huh, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss cast, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those team star lackeys outside the school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. All I had, and, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all, but still there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without, I did not readjust my, t I was doing some training it. oh sugar. This is the final showdown, are you ready? Not just yet, not just yet. Not just yet, cause I think I still have Sizor on my team cause I was doing some training and then I came back. Hold on. Yep. Okay, hold on. Let, let me let me sw switch that one out right quick. It's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay. Because what I was doing is I literally was going through all of these and don't know why I didn't think to go there. So, okay, let, let's go ahead and do it now. Yep. Okay. Let's do this. <clears throat> Sorry for keeping you the letter of apology. Miss Time had me, er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after I, no, I mean, is that you, Cass? In the flesh, I've, I've, I have also, I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, we'll do. Mm -mm. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I am the big boss of Team Star. The name is Cassio P or P or whatever. No, Penny. Cast, okay, got it. 
Now, bow down before the overall might of Team Star's founder. Oh. Okay, bail. Okay. Okay, leading with the Umbria. So, is she going to have all of the evolutions? I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Okay. So, back to the original plan. And probably gonna use like Toxic or something. Oh, just a Dark Pulse? Okay. Strong. So the quest. And I still forgot to. Okay. Black and Rock, I need for you to hit this now. Ma'am. Ma'am. This is not the time for the shenanigans, okay? You know the, you know the, okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, you know, I shouldn't have to cry out if you just, look I, look, I understand the percentages and all that other stuff, but goodness gracious. See, I should have just switched out. That's it. Should have just switched out. But I didn't want to switch out. See what we're doing here. See what's going on. I'm going to switch out, though. <clears throat> because I may need to use Stone Edge later. And it's, it's not hitting the way that it needs to hit. Okay, I'll go with the weaker of the Lucarios, even though this is about... You know what? I think I have Drain Punch. I'll teach a Drain Punch instead of Close Combat. Okay. <clears throat> Let me take this seriously. <laughs> Not to say that I wasn't, because I was, I'm just saying. So it does have all the evolutions. I'm gonna, again, I keep forgetting to change it to set, so this is why I'm doing that, so. Okay, Flareon, okay. And I don't have anything for Flareon. Ha-ha! I think that's prop. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with this one. Because of his special ability. Oh! <laughs> you thought you had me. <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna go with Crunch. Oh, baby doll, I suck. Gosh darn it. Okay. Not giving me what I need, but okay. Okay, so you're just dead set on doing that. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, okay, so then I have... Never mind. What I was about to do was I was about to switch to Lucario. And then do everything. But okay, that worked. So Vaporeon is next. But its attack is down. Obviously, again, set. But its attack is down. So, let's see. Its attack is down. I could go into this one because it does no trailblade. Yeah, I'll do that. So she has all, well, not all ev evolution, but the majority of them. You know what? Her ace might just be Eevee with a different uh, Terra type. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. And that wasn't enough to do it. Alright. <clears throat> well. Yep. Sorry, Luke. Okay. So the only person that can really do something is going to be Dox Fun. So, but I don't think it's faster. 
so I'm not sure. Yeah, it's definitely not faster. Go, okay, go for the baby doll eyes. Paralyze it. Paralyze it. Yes. Okay. Now I just need for you to hit it. 95% accuracy, right? I need for you to hit it. Oh my gosh, it's still faster. Oi. Good. Got him. Okay. Send your joke. Oh, I did. I, I never showed you guys my cup. If y'all can see it, so it says my dogs. I only have one though. Aren't spoiled. I'm just well trained. Again, I have a dog. Dog Pokemon team. I forgot to show that to y'all. Thought y'all would enjoy that. Okay, back to the good. Okay. Oh, thunder. Miss. 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 Thank you. Okay. Come on. I need a crit. Okay, not a crit, but that works. One more. Miss, miss, miss. Okay, that didn't miss. Ooh. Don't paralyze. Ah, da, 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 da. Just. Okay. It's, a, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. So who do I go with? Obviously that. Mm, okay, I'll, I'll go on with with my hound. Okay, let's let's let's, let's see what we can get. Crack a lacquer. You know, I probably should have just terrestrialized it to ground. I didn't do it. I probably should have, so I kind of saved myself. <laughs> well, it it saved me, but I probably should have done that. Okay. So, what's going to be the last evolution? Is it going to be Espeon or Sylveon? Leafeon. Okay. I really do believe that Eevee is going to be her last one. It's either it'll be Eevee or Sylveon. I think it's Eevee. And I'm not even going to lie, I did think like, hmm, maybe I should just do an all Eevee team. Seriously thought about it. Okay. Are we faster? We are. Okay. All right, one more. Honestly, Clive was so much more difficult. Or maybe it's just because of how my team was built up. Sylveon, okay. Oh, okay. I can't fault you for your boss because I don't know one of the bosses fell at your hands. Mm. Okay. So if I'm right, Sylveon is going to use a fairy type move, even though it's going to terrestrialize. So now Lucario should be able to eat it up. Now, my Lucario is only fighting terror type, so I am not going to terrestrialize it because. Is it going to have a off putting? Okay, no, so it's, it's pure fairy. Okay. My VB's power will push you into Stardust. I wonder how strong this is gonna hit me. Oh! Oh! Oh, that hurt! Oh, that hurt! But this gonna hurt too! Oh, really? No. Okay, all right. So the question is, do I play or do I not play? Smog really isn't going to do anything though. Mm. You know what? Take a chance. 
to take the chance. Okay, so then that means you have nothing to take it on. Okay, like and right, we're going to have to have a staff meeting after this because you tripping. You tripping. Okay, so can we at least hit with it? Thank you. I didn't KO it, so all right. Okay, I th I, th I think we got it. I think we got it. So, terrestrialize smog. Okay, this should work because because initially it's part dark. It's gonna go for a fairy move, more than likely. So that should kind of have some damage. Okay, well, it's going for baby doll eyes. Well, it's not a physical attacker. All right, we're done. No! What the... What's the... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, uh, see? Well, we still won, but I feel like, yeah, it's over. It wasn't over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all over now. Oh, that's a lot of money. So she was hacking into people's bank accounts and whatnot, I bet. Just... It's finally over, guys. It's done. Is Team Star there? Yeah, I thought maybe they would have been there, you know. <sighs> We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Oh, on the phone. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star and now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of <laughs> bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely, I'm oh, sorry, merely did we de uh, declare our intentions to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. T'was the bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired ep epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix the mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind, Big Boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh, yeah, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is... Thanks. Even though we ne <laughs> we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithy? Okay. Speak to us. <laughs> what is thine intent? <laughs> hey, Big Boss, answer us. Aww. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. So that must have been her, what, year and a half story? Thanks for everything, Yakutis. And you too, Clyde. Pour me some more coffee. 
I'm glad I can see this through to the end. I guess this is for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss. I, I'd like to check something. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there another way to handle this? I tried telling the boss that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do so, but I can never order them. Oh, that's cool. So, it's back to the code again. It's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the boss would do anything the code required them to do, even leave the team. Yes. And according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus, the idea of Operation Starfall. Kaz, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're, they're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. Burr, what? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal... Uh-huh. Director... Yep. Just as Cass was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I need a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy away from speaking their mind to the teachers, after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. <laughs> Ahem, well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come out? Say what? This is so cute. Oh, Atticus. See now, see now they see they they trying to make me tear up, but it ain't happening. I ain't doing it. So, so what? They're about to team up after this and be a team, and be all friend like. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Mm. You know what would have been cool is if the uh, Team Star um, bosses would have all had an Eevee and then Penny had all of their Eevees plus Sylveanus her signature even though one of them, what was it, Ortega I believe was the uh, fairy user but I'm just saying like that would have been cool. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. All of you have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As the rest of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of the situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me your reason for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessed free from bullying. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for a team star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. <clears throat> Aww. 
Woohoo, pity, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with glee. But, but I betrayed you all. All of you. You mean Operation Starfall, Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through it to save us from getting a spell. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just cause someone told us to. After all, ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry to make you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. <clears throat> As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to this band has been revoked. However, there are some unsettling matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. <clears throat> Your protracted truancy, your bravery and customization of school <laughs> uniform, your unauthorized uses of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous hmm, driving of Pokemon power vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard of school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Aww. Thus, as punishment, you will be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STC. What is that? And that stands for <clears throat> the Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainer talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Yocrates battling his way through your bases. The base constructed as well as the battle tactics employed by the team by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And this is some of it. Does anyone have any concern? Uh, no. It sounds like fun, so I don't see how there'll be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the STC are supposed to be a punishment at all, but you should totally join in, Penny. Tis true. We should most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We are already talking about how great it'll be to have both Team Star and schools in our lives. This will be a sweet deal for us. So, what you say? You guys. Yabertes, what do you think? Yeah. yeah it's both the same thing. Huh, but, but, uh, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to the side. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, uh, not to say you should break up Team Star. After all, I simply mean it is time to leave. Aww. Master Yocrates, please stop by my office later if you would. For what? Okay. You know what? I'll do it now. <clears throat> I mean, worst case scenario is we get another task. We're not doing it now because this episode is already too long. All right. So what do you have to say, sir? Ah, here you are, Master Yocrates. I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. It's not, if not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincerest gratitude. Knock, knock, knock. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, uh, Miss Penny, do come in. Uh, hello, Director. About the STC, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But um, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. Um, You know, the LP I gave you both. Where did she get it from? I got hold of it, <laughs> sort of, uh, he illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. <laughs> ah, I see, that is quite the revelation. 
I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't um, at all hard. Or, I mean, I really sorry, and I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will consult with Miss Gita, the Pokemon Lee chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Yartis, but I will have to ask you give us some privacy. I mean, I told y'all she she hacked. Okay, so y'all, that is it, and we have done everything right. So all that's left is the Pokemon League. So. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. I don't think I'll do a traverse. Like, if anything, I might do, like, I might traverse and get to the Pokemon League. And I might just, like, show y'all, like, a montage of me getting there. But I still have a lot of training to do. I really do. And honestly, I think that it's probably best. Let me see. Uh, no, wrong button. Wrong button. I think I probably need to get my team to... Again, wrong button. What what are you doing, y'all? I'm going to push to get my team up to level 80. Yep, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to grind it out. And then pretty much I'll make my way to the Pokemon League. And then we're going to face the Pokemon League. And again, no clue as to the types or what I'm about to be in for. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a hoot. So... Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all for the next video. Peace out.